just fine to make sure that you you say something and you know um, this isn't this isn't meant to put blame on victims because they're already victimized. You didn't deserve that at all. <laughs> she didn't deserve it. The memories I have with her, <laughs> it's just nothing would ever make you want to do something like that to somebody that I don't understand it. 106 Lane Duval Street at that yeah, station. Yeah. See, she's got me cracking up in the studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Faith too. Yo, keeping things rolling is black with problems. Young was a local radio personality before leaving the business to become a school teacher. The radio station Power 106.1 Jax posted, Our hearts are broken this morning over her death. Taishika Young, a former popular radio personality at Power 106.1, was murdered in her apartment. Her friends say the man that is now charged with harming her is her two young children's father. They also say she was four months pregnant with his child. Today, his arraignment is set, and her friends and family are hoping for justice. Tashika Young lived in Jacksonville, Florida. Friends described Tashika as ambitious and someone who loved unconditionally. A sister, a friend, a mom, a daughter. She, she was our world. Tashika is, she truly changed my life. Um, she has a way of drawing those things out of you that you, you know, you may not know is in you. She was a cheerleader um, for me. She loved life, you know, and um, she loved Jackson. <laughs> she loved Duval. Tashika worked as a radio personality at Power 106.1, True Hip Hop Station. She was known as Ty Sheiks on radio. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> I'm Tashi. Tashika became a well-known name in the Jacksonville community while working on air. She interviewed many celebrities, local businesses, and local artists. With that station, I am in the studio with Faith Evans and Lil Cease. How are you guys doing? What's up? Good. 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 How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Eventually, her friend said she gave up her radio career to raise her two children and fell in love with teaching. Tashika had both a bachelor's and master's degree from the historic Black University, Bethune Cookman. She loved everything about her newfound career and being able to have more family time. She was also expecting her third child with her child's father, 33-year-old Bercy Jerome Armstrong Jr. Unfortunately, the relationship with her children's father turned very toxic. According to close friends of Tashika, she told the news that her friend had been a victim of domestic violence throughout her relationship with Armstrong. Another friend said she believed that Tashika was blinded by love. However, she did eventually try to get help. Records show that Tashika told the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about Armstrong harming her in May 2021. She had pictures of her injuries to prove her case, but the responding officers wrote in his report he could not prove where they came from. When asked why didn't she report injuries previously, Tashika admitted she did not want to get Armstrong arrested then, but she did at that time. However, officers decided that no charges should be pressed. Instead, the officer's report refers to this incident as a lover's quarrel. After that, friends said the mistreatment did continue and they tried to convince her to leave. Reports stated she eventually became fed up with his behavior and tried. On July 9, 2022, Tashika told her mother that Armstrong held a weapon at her and had text messages of the incident. And after that incident, he was allegedly put out and moved back in with his parents. Two weeks after that incident, it was a Saturday evening when her mother grew concerned. Her mother said she speak with her daughter daily and she was not able Able to reach her. Her concerns grew even more when she received a call from Armstrong. During that call, he told her mother he was unable to reach her. After that, something told her to go to her daughter's apartment, and upon arrival, she found Tashika unresponsive in her bedroom. We kept telling her to leave. We knew it was coming, but we didn't, you know, it just was when it hit, when it came. When it came, it just really hurt.
New detail tonight in the murder of a former local radio personality. Tashika Young was a mother of two, and tonight we've learned from an arrest report that her mother found her body in her home with, with her two young children. According to reports on Saturday, July 23rd, 2022, when Tashika's mother arrived at the apartment, it was around 5.30 p.m. and she used the key to go inside. When she walked into the apartment, she observed damage to the door threshold that appeared to have been caused by a door being kicked in. She says she also found their two children, ages one and three, inside the apartment. Then she found her daughter unresponsive in her bedroom. Once officials were called and arrived on the scene, they pronounced that Tashika Young was deceased. Good evening, I am Sergeant Hopley with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit here to give you an update on an investigation that we're working. Approximately 5.30 p.m. this evening, officers responded to the 12,400 block of Biscayne Boulevard in reference to a report of an unresponsive female inside of a residence. Upon their arrival, officers confirmed the presence of an unresponsive adult black female inside of a residence. Those officers summoned the assistance of Jacksonville Fire Rescue personnel who responded and pronounced the female deceased at the scene. This appears to be an isolated incident, uh, but we're still very early in the stages, but we don't have any reason to believe that there's a, an, an imminent or immediate threat to anyone in there. According to reports, her children's father returned to the apartment and was detained by police. Armstrong was interviewed at the police memorial building and provided consent to download his cell phone. As a result of the download, detectives say they discovered numerous text messages and photos that show a dark history of the relationship. However, during the interview, Armstrong allegedly told detectives that he had not been to the victim's apartment since Friday, July 13th. Armstrong reportedly said that he was given Given a ride to the apartment by his stepfather and that he was staying with his mom and stepfather at their home. Armstrong was asked by police if he had a key to the victim's apartment and he reportedly replied that he did. He told police that the key was located in a bag in a bedroom he was staying in at his parents' house. Upon execution of a search warrant at his parents' house, police say that several pieces of evidence were discovered. Behind the stairs, the detectives say they observed what appeared to be clothing items. Police say they also looked inside of a hole and observed what appeared to be ammo. The evidence technician photographed and removed the clothing items from under the stairs. Police also said that the clothing appeared to have stains on them. Police say that the evidence technician also removed another weapon from a hole at the base of the stairs. And due to every Everything that was discovered, Armstrong was returned to the station to continue questioning after they found enough evidence to later charge him with second degree murder in connection to the incident. Armstrong was being held at a pretrial detention facility where he was denied bond in the case after a judge determined there was substantial probable cause. His arraignment date is set for August 16, 2022. Mr. Armstrong, you are charged with uh, murder. A judge already found probable cause and set your bond at none. Appoint the public defender's office and pass the case to August the 16th for arraignment. Thank you. The station remembered this former co-worker in a tribute on social media. They stated, Our hearts are broken this morning. Tashika Young, Tai Sheiks, was a spirited, ambitious, and a loved part of Power 106.1 family for many years. She loved her job, her community, and most of all, her family. Her voice will never be forgotten, and we pray for her and her family. Today, her family and friends hopes justice will be served and her story will be helpful to the next. When you're deep in love and you you are blinded by love, you can't see those things. So you kind of push them away and underneath the cover. Tell somebody, ask for help. It's not worth losing your life. It's not. Because we had not connected in some time and a few other people feel the same way, it's just you can't help but feel like, man, we just did our part with checking up on each other, making sure we all came that that this would have happened. This is one of those stories, unfortunately, that teaches you that if you're going through something and you need help, ask for help. And at the same time, don't be ashamed of it. Don't be embarrassed about what you're going through. I will continue to keep her friends and family in my thoughts and prayers. This young woman favors my big sister so much. 
my heart is sincerely with her loved ones. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below. Let's please respect the victim and the family in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones.